So I'm gonna be showing you how to remove tubular rivets and we're gonna be using this Japanese rivet removal tool. So I have a cutting board here, which is just a soft surface that I'm gonna put this tool on top of um, in case this bottoms out. I don't wanna uh, dull it on my stone surface here. And I have a mallet that I'm gonna be using for striking this and um, some pliers in case I need to use them at the end to finish pulling the tubular rivet out. So the first thing I'm going to do is on this Japanese rivet removal tool, I want to find the hole that best matches the diameter of the head of this tubular rivet. So I can see in through here that it is the second one in. So I'm going to hold that in place, put that over my cutting board and take the strike post for the removal tool and stick it into the center of the tubular rivet spokes here. And I'm going to strike this with the mallet and it's just going to push the tubular rivet out the other side. Okay. And there it is. So if it didn't quite push it all the way out, then I could use the pliers to pull it. So another way to remove tubular rivets is with some jewelry angle cutters. So jewelry because they're small here, so small angle cutters, and then a couple pairs of pliers. So what we want to do is just start to pry these spokes up off of this piece of leather here. So sometimes the easiest way to get started with this is to take a pair of pliers and hold one side of your leather and then take another pair of pliers and hold the other side and just give them a tug. So what you're trying to do here is just create a little bit of space on the tubular rivet stem to open up the tube. We'll try to create as much room as possible. So the next thing I'm doing is I'm just taking these jewelry angle pliers and I'm pulling each spoke up. So notice though that these are very sharp and I'm using a pulling motion with some force. So I really want to make sure that on the other side of my wherever the force is being directed that my hand isn't in the line of fire there. Um, because this technique does require you to be really conscious about safety um, as you're removing your rivet. And sometimes it's nice to take a break because um, usually we're removing a rivet after we've made a mistake and we can be frustrated. And if we go in and use sharp tools like this while we're frustrated, there's a higher chance of hurting ourselves. So I'm just using the jewelry angle cutters to cut the spokes off. So now I see that the spokes are pretty much gone and I can come in with a pair of pliers and start to pull the leather off the rivet. So notice I am doing a lot of my pulling on the leather that's the reinforcement tab because I don't care as much if I chew up this piece of leather because it's never going to show anyways. Once I get that off, I can pull the rivet out of my work and then proceed to pull this side of the rivet out of this piece of leather. Now if I want to preserve this too, and I might want to come in with angle cutters here and cut off the stem so that I can remove it from this piece of leather more easily. But as I cut this, it's going to fly off. So I always want to direct it towards the ground or towards my table and not actually look at it or be wearing safety glasses as I do this. Okay, and then I can take my pliers here and take this side out too. And there we've removed our tubular rivet with some pliers and angle cutters.